14,623. No, I don't disagree with that, Inge, but I'm saying, what would that matter? If you know you're losing Hyman because you cannot afford him, regardless of what where they went in the playoffs. That's what I'm saying, right? Whether we made the first, second, third round, if we couldn't afford Hyman regardless, what does it matter to keep him? That, that's just my point. Yeah, not young guns. Rookie of Bochensky for the Ottawa Senators. The hanger falls too close. Sittler for the Maple Leafs, finalist. We've got a difference makers, Jeff Carter for Philly. So they have 11 million. So what is that 11, Mario? What does that 11 million include or not include? Is that like Anderson gone, Hyman gone? Yoke and in rookie for Dallas. Finalist for the Islanders of Yashin. And a nice drama rookie for the Calgary Flames. Rick Nash for the Blue Jackets finalist. But it wasn't Felino. Oh, I guess Felino is only a small part of this contract, right? So he wouldn't count as a full. He'll say, if we lose Hyman, well, I guess, sorry, yeah, Hyman's also only, what, two, three million? Suter for the Nashville Predators, Young Guns. Anderson will be a big chunk off. That's not too bad. Stewart. For the Florida Panthers. We've got a scoring Kings of Richards for the Philadelphia Flyers. Guy Lafleur, finalist for the Habs. So you can get two decent players for $11 million. Super six of the Avalanche, Patrick Waugh. Alfredson for the Ottawa Senators, finalist. I definitely think Seattle takes Kerfoot. For the Nashville Predators, scoring Kings, Paul Correa. We've got a La Nouveau rookie for the Coyotes. It's definitely calmed down a bit, but still higher than it ever used to be. Finalist of Patrick Waugh for the Avalanche. Scoring Kings for the Devils of Patrick Eliash. And a Coburn for the Winnipeg Jets rookie. We also got to remember, uh, NYR, that the playoffs not did not exactly help by knocking out McDavid or Matthews early on. McKinnon's out second round. 
So a lot of the guys that were the ones that were selling for a lot of money, it took the wind out of the sails a bit. So it's good and bad. Patrick Waugh for the Habs finalist. Like, I was, I'm not going to lie, I was kind of excited because this was a good year, potentially, like a crazy year, that Toronto should have won the first round, and uh, Oilers should have won the first round. Difference makers of St. Louis for Tampa. So the hobby would have exploded if McDavid and Matthews are playing against each other, then one's going to go to the Final Four. Nashville Predators, Sullivan finalist. But of course, that got blown up very quickly on both sides. Cam Poli, rookie for the Islanders. I will say, NYR, you would be absolutely stunned how many times people will message right after a playoff series and be like, the guy's going to go down. Literally, the offers on some of the Matthews cards, McDavid's cards we have were like, he can't even make it past the first round. Oh, okay. Makes him a terrible player, I guess. Scoring kings of Havlat for the Sens. Like, I always almost over-reply to those people, then why do you want their cards? If they're only going down, why do you want them? Nabaka finalist for the Sharks. Because maybe, just maybe, they're going to go up. Anna. Oh, she got her headphones on. Albert for the Boston Bruins. Can you put it on the plate? Can you put them on the plate? Can you put them on the plate? You said heat up. I don't need heat up. Yeah. Roach rookie for the Blues. That's the thing, it's amazing how when, it's, when a player gets knocked out, how everyone just thinks apparently they're bums and they suck. Maybe they didn't have the greatest playoffs, that's fine, doesn't mean they suck. Scoring Kings of Ronick for the LA Kings. I say all the McDavid's and Matthews, I'll take them too. Iginla, Calgary Flames finalist. Like legitimately, Ovechkin's your perfect candidate of an amazing player that took a little while to get a cup and look, look at his values. Why are you why would you ever be eager to let him go? Linden for the Vancouver Canucks. And a Woy Witka for the Blues rookie. Seabrook for the Hawks. Rookie. Oh, up okay. there. Thank you. Montoya, rookie for the Rangers. Scoring Kings for the Blues of Dubway. Your biggest regret. Mario Lemieux for the Penguins. Our industry is a very fun, fickle one, NYR. It's like people know these players are going to be good, but they just like they're hesitant to invest in it, which is funny. Rookie uniformity of Wozniewski for the Maple Leafs. Like, if Shane Wright comes out, or Connor Bedard comes out and absolutely lights it up, you would be not a bright person not to just absolutely buy everything. Bogard for the Minnesota Wild. Because all trends show that they will go up a lot. And base. There we go.